fair way back from the tape, but all facing the right way, including Sergeant Wilson. And uh, they're off. And this is the Gold Cup and Grand National Lunches Open National Hunt Flat Race. The extended two miles. And uh, jumping out prominently, the favourite off to a flyer in the orange, along with the Wincanton winner, Dollar Bay. These, the front two early on with Sergeant Wilson, the black and white with the yellow cap, Eddie Edge. Horse who did get loose before the start, just sitting in behind Bothy Lady. On the outside of the field is Graceful Dancer, a red cap sticking to the inside, Iron Wings, the blue and white, followed by Exmoor Forest, sheepskin noseband for Major Fortune. And alongside that one is Jet Marshall and Harry Cobden in no rush on Urban Soldier dropped out at the back of the field. Brendan Powell and off to a flyer just leading John Joe O'Neill Jr. and Dollar Bay with Bothy Lady and Sean Houlihan in third position. And then Iron Wings taking quite a keen hold is Jet Marshall on the outside of that one, second in both of his Irish points. Ben Sutton in the saddle today, followed by Sergeant Wilson and then Major Fortune and Stan Shepherd. The white and red Exmoor Forest and Ben Godfrey and Harry Cobden is sticking right over towards the far side on Urban Soldier as he looks for a treble today. Ditto Paul Nichols. They run in between the wings of the second last hurdle where it would be in this uh, last race of the day. And it is off to a flyer in company with Dollar Bay. They sit one and two. Bothy Lady in behind with uh, Jet Marshall. It hasn't settled as well as one or two of the others. Iron Wings and then Sergeant Wilson. They're all in a group towards the near side with one exception, and that's Urban Soldier sticking to the inner. So they've got a, a circuit to go. Off to a fly leads them. And the 10 jockeys in this closing bumper weighed out for the last time at Taunton by the soon-to-retire Clark of the Scales, Georgie Robarts, a popular, friendly, and much-respected figure on the West Country circuit for a number of years. We'll all miss you, Georgie, when you retire, as the field now turn right-handed at the end of the home straight, and it is off to a flyer that leads the way to Dollar Bay in second. In third place is Jet Marshall. Sergeant Wilson is next, racing on the outside of Bothy Lady for Claire Hitch, and then Iron Wings on the inside of the course, still towards the back as uh, Urban Soldier, with Exmoor Forest, Graceful Dancer, and in the rear division also is Major Fortune in the Noel Feely Racing Silks. They head down the back straight, off to a fly. One is sole Irish point to point in late autumn. Leads a field separated by only around eight lengths. Graceful Dancer has dropped back to be last now. He's struggling to go the pace that is still being set by off to a flyer with Jet Marshall on the outside. Dollar Bay, the red sleeves running in third position. Sergeant Wilson is still tracking them with iron wings. Latest one to be pushed along is Exmoor Forest, as Cobden still does his own thing on the inside on Urban Soldier, keeping apart from the other runners, but he is having to push his newcomer along. As they now run towards the end of the back straight, they've gone through where the last hurdle on the far side would be, and it is still off to a flyer. With the advantage, on the outside is Jet Marshall. On the inner is Dollar Bay. She won her only Irish point-to-point -point by a vast margin. So, of course, since won that mare's bumper, taking on the boys today, is on the inside of Off to a Flyer. In third place, Sergeant Wilson. He misbehaved before the start, but he's running a nice race in third position under Eddie Edge. Now weakening is Jet Marshall, then Major Fortune and Bothy Lady, Exmoor Forest, uh, and Iron Wings has weakened and nothing at all from Urban Soldier. Sergeant Wilson comes through to take over. Sergeant Wilson, despite getting loose before the start, he's really starting to run the rule over these. Sergeant Wilson and Eddie Edge with a clear advantage here to Dollar Bay. Off to a flyer, can find no more. Major Fortune is staying on in fourth place but it's the sergeant that's running the rule over these here has gone 10 or 12 lengths in front and Eddie Edge I'm sure he wasn't very happy with his mount before the race he'll be delighted with him now because Sergeant Wilson oh this has all been rather lovely he's won by about 15 lengths Sergeant Wilson for Eddie Edge and Nigel Twist and Davies. Major Fortune stayed on for second. Third place, Dollar Bay. Fourth was tight. Bothy Lady finished with a bit of a flourish to challenge off to a flyer for that spot. First, number 11, Sergeant Wilson. Second, number nine. Third, number one. And a photo finish for fourth.